You're worried about the movie, then protect the movie. Okay, hire more security, hire the National Guard, just don't kill the movie. Violence in cinema is a big deal right now, Roman. This is not the kind of news this studio's after. So if we stop making scary movies, what, uh, all the psychos in the world will retire? Come on. I've been making horror movies for 30 years and never had a psycho problem. He was your goddamn idea, guys. All right, an ex-con with a trashy talk show, he must have pissed people off every day. Can't Detectives, be. there's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie, is there? He was making a movie called Stab. He was stabbed. Probably some psycho fan pissed off they killed Randy and stabbed, too. Well, Tyson, that'd make you next, wouldn't it? I am not a Randy substitute. I'm my own character. Named Ricky, who works at the video store. It's an homage. Hey, what if the killer's Sidney Prescott? <laughs> I mean, what the hell ever happened to her? She's probably off in the woods living like the fucking Unabomber, man. <laughs> I'm starting to see why Tori Spelling and David Schwimmer didn't want to come back. Guys, this was about cotton. We are not in any danger. We are not in any danger, says Candy, page 15. I don't see you leaving. Huh. You think serious black actors my age can just throw away jobs? It's all a business now. They got Usher doing Pinter off-Broadway. LL Cool J's Shakespeare in the park. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's not meant to be. Not meant to be? You win that talent search for the new Sydney, 50,000 girls, and they pick you? You gotta be praying this movie keeps going. Of course I am, but not at the expense of people's lives. Oh. <laughs> Cue the violins, right? <laughs>